What's up everybody? DBO Kakarot with a special video that I am excited to make. So I was walking over to Vitamin Shop. I always pass a GameStop on the way. And I pass in GameStop and I always, you know, I always hop in there. They never have Dragon Ball stuff. I bought a couple of those, uh, what do you call those, uh, pop, you know, those pop figures. I got all of them. I got Vegeta, Frieza, Cell, uh, Piccolo, Super Saiyan Goku. I got, I think I have them all except like the really rare ones. Like the, uh, what, Super Saiyan God Goku one I think is rare or whatever, all those. I'll get those eventually. But, you know, I was walking by the window and I'm like, ah, I'm not going to go into GameStop. I walk by and this giant badass Goku figure is in a display case. I walk by and I'm like, I just like stopped and I like stormed in there and I was just like, what the hell is that? I saw the price tag. I'm too embarrassed to uh, say what I paid for this, but I almost said no, but there's this for the first time ever. There's a really cute girl working there, and she was asking me, I'm a collector. I told her I have a channel. I didn't, just told her the name. She's not going to look it up, and she's not going to watch this, I hope, because I'll probably see her again. But yeah, she was really cute, and she was all talking about uh, she's more into, uh, what, what, uh, She's more into like if the Sailor Moon was the yeah, Sailor Moon and stuff like that and Sailor Moon's getting a revamp I've never watched Sailor Moon, so I don't know and she was talking about it And she's a collector Sailor Moon figures and we were hitting it off pretty good and I was too big with pussy I didn't ask her out. I should have but you know whatever she probably she works at GameStop I'm sure every nerd that walks in there hits on her so she didn't need this dork hitting on her so it was whatever. So I was kind of just talking to her for a while, and I'm just like, okay. I'm like, how many of these have you sold? And she said that we called around all the GameStops, and like every GameStop for some reason just got one of these figures. So Rhyme Style and uh, Super J and all those people, I know they probably don't have this figure, and I should be one of the first people to review it because they said they just got it, and they just got one figure only. So whatever reason, maybe because of the price tag, they want to see if it's going to sell. But as of right now, I'm doing this review as soon as possible and uploading it because I should be one of the first people to do this review. At least I think. I don't know. But anyways, let's jive into this figure. Um, I don't really want to get the price tag on here because I paid out the ass for this. But look at this. This is a cell shaded freaking beauty of a figure it's by and once again you gotta be 15 or older so sorry everybody out there it's magna dimensions this is dragon ball z master stars piece the sun goku this is a freaking beautifully designed figure um it's definitely overpriced but i'm a collector and i know this is a relatively rare figure because this is the actual showcase one they had one in the showcase and they had the empty box behind the counter and that was it they didn't have any like more they just sent one to the store so I'm like ah you know I doubt she's lying to make a sale but regardless you know I'm a collector so let's take a look at this figure I held it in the store because she took it out of the showcase and this is a freaking beautiful figure and for how much I paid for it I guess you kind of get like some background in there I might be able to like take out and reuse I doubt it though but it comes together it's very heavy it's got some weight to it as a matter of fact hold on got my bodybuilding food scale I want to see how much this beast weighs 1 1 pound 2 ounces. So this thing has the weight to it for a figure. And it's like it doesn't come apart. It's just like a style a solid statue. But the quality on this is beautiful. It's kind of like supposed to be cell shaded like it's straight out of the magna. So it's pretty pretty sweet. And once again, I I I know why these are 15 or older cuz Damn, his freaking, his hair is like so pointy and sharp. 
I could like you could easily puncture skin with very little pressure. So that's probably why. They don't want kids like running around playing with these and like coming in, going into their neck and they gotta go to the emergency room with like Goku hanging out of their neck. But so very, very nice figure. Very, very high quality. It's kinda like has a dark orange and a kinda like a light orange and it's kinda like more tan on this arm. But this is definitely a collector's edition figure. So I hope I'm one of the first to review these because they're supposedly brand new and I hope they are. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Hopefully this new camera. I'm trying to play with the settings and the angles and I'm in a fluorescent lighted basement so I'm going to have to try to keep playing with this camera until I get it to look good. It's supposed to be 1080p, 60 frames per second. So. Um, that's pretty much it. Badass figure. Definitely one of my most highly detailed figures. I don't like what I paid for it. But when you're talking to a hot Sailor Moon chick, you kind of just, you know, you don't want to walk out like a bitch and say, I'm not going to get it. So, whatever. I told her my channel name. I doubt she'll look it up. I hope not. Because I'll be seeing her again. Boom. First girl I ever seen working on a GameStop, too. It's kind of weird. But... That's the figure, so that's pretty much it. I want to get this one up so everybody can check their GameStop. Go to your GameStop and look for these. They're extremely rare for the time being. So that's pretty much going to be it. I got a lot more videos planned. Um, I'm actually about to do another one right now, which I'm going to surprise you guys. It's going to be a really freaking cool video. So um, I got to get my ass in gear and do this videos. I got a lot of videos planned. I got my buddy stopping by. Uh, maybe we'll get some uh, Metal Gear live streaming at his channel. Who knows? Uh, that's going to be it for this video. Um, I don't think I have anything else to show. I don't right now. So that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. This is a, a badass figure. Check out the box some more. Goku on the back. Pretty sweet. This is a Ban Presto figure. So once again, pretty pretty freaking sweet. And uh, that's it. So thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, tell a friend or two or a hundred. Spread the word. A lot more videos coming. A lot more gaming videos coming. I just gotta kind of do my own thing. Always trying to be somebody. Try to pick everybody else out there. I don't want to do that. I'm not that skilled like them, so I'm just gonna do my own thing, have some fun. Hopefully, you want to come along with the adventure, and you know we're gonna have a lot more fun. So, don't forget to uh, all the stuff I just said 10 seconds ago, and uh, peace out. Bye. Click. <laughs>